There's so much you can learn from history. When you spend time in the home of an artist. This is one of the most fabulous little trinkets that I've got in, in this house. Especially when that artist is Phil Ponder. We traded out two prints of Union Station for that part of the clock. Everywhere you look. This has been signed by eight governors. Is a prized possession. That's quite a lineup. But you might say one of Phil's <laughs> favorite treasures is buried deep in an old album. He's got one in here. Oh, these are from Canada. So where is it? Life magazine. Of the time he was invited to rendezvous with royalty. This is the actual invitation. This was, uh, the Lord Chamberlain is commanded by their majesties, how about that, to invite Mr. Philip Ponder to an afternoon party on Monday the 17th of November, 1947. Yes, those royals. It showed that this was no ordinary wedding, but that of a king's daughter. Then 14 years old, there was a lot Ponder didn't understand. Service dress uniform, morning dress. I had no idea what that was. Not to mention, how did he get invited? This is what's amazing to me is she didn't know who I was from Adam. It turns out his father had sent Princess Elizabeth a letter. It is my desire to send you a little remembrance uh, for your wedding. Written on his son's behalf. And by all means, come to see your American cousin sometimes. Very, very sincerely, Philip Ponder. And he included a small gift. This was something that uh, most any woman in England would have loved to have had at that time. Uh, a couple of pairs of nylon hose. This is the film record of the days in northern France and Belgium. Hosiery had been heavily rationed during World War II, meaning it was hard for anyone to find even a future queen. I didn't even know he'd sent that. <laughs> Alas, Phil wasn't able to make the trip. It was only like three or four days before it was taking place. There's no way I could go there and, and we couldn't have afforded the air fair anyway. But he did get to see her in person eventually. There she is right there. Ten years later when Queen Elizabeth made a trip to the States. Oh, that's the only time I actually saw her in person. And now that the matriarchal monarch has passed. You know, my dad kind of wished her a long life and sure enough, 96 years is fabulous. The fact that he got to be enveloped in her kindness <laughs> is what makes it a true treasure. It's just really special that uh, I've, st I've still got that after all these years. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Take all these pictures.